Hey guys, what do you think about the new update? Locked and loaded. Oh wait, let me load this for dynamite bundles. And uh, what are you doing here? Some sort of yoga? Hello! Hey! Oof. Why are you so aggressive? <sighs> Buonanotte ragazzi, come stanno? Oopsie, I'm pressing heal button but it doesn't work. Ah. Only one of us survives this and, and it, it not be you. Oh, nice. Has he committed a suicide? Oh, who killed him, eh? I mean, there were only mini hawks. Do they fight each other as well? Hello there! Finally, the new update has come. I played like 40 minutes and found it as buggy as always. In general, all good old bugs are present, so don't worry. But zero complaining. From today, all builds I show you will have a specific loadout. And now I present you XP Farmer Shotgun build. All of you can craft Gauss Shotgun after maxing out the reputation with settlers. You need a vampire role. One star vampire is okay. Previously, I already did a video about Vampire Gauss Shotgun. So check it out to understand why it is a weapon you would probably use. Another shotgun you need is a combat one for targets like Scorched Beach and Desclaw because some time ago we had the screwed girl shotty and made me cry. Bugs, 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 bugs. I was crying three days and three nights. I felt betrayed and now I don't use it. Quick demonstration, watch. Two damage, one damage, 94. <laughs> Do you like it? One more time, one, one, 94. 55 and uh, 1 1 1 1 1 <laughs> okay you got it that is why you need a combat shotgun with suppressor because you'll be as sneaky as uh, I don't know but super sneaky don't worry of course you have to use full set of unyielding armor to boost your intelligence and everything else safe endurance Speaking of style of gameplay, should be aggressive as hell. You will do mostly one shots, but in case of lots of targets, use a combat shotgun. Not necessary vampire, better to shot explosive or any explosive to make use of demolition expert perk card. Don't forget what's only, because you will deal more damage this way and you need it to farm experience faster. And now pro shots. Bam. And one more. Check it out. Oop. And he is dead. Here are my shotguns. My two shot explosive love number one. This one perception. And Gauss shotty. Here it is. Vampire plus one agility. More damage while aiming I don't use. Because of parts. And now Pericle out. Free damage buffs card plus blocker. Must be these cards. Perception I almost always use green thumb because I am too lazy to equip and unequip it. And my chair is herbivore. So I use brain fungus soup to be more intelligent and cranberry relish for XP boost. I played as carnivore as well and I like it but with plants is easier. Ready cool to pick up more stuff and loot with double take all button. Rejuvenated is for more AP regeneration, more hit points and better disease resistance. In my previous build I used a ricochet because with vampire weapon it helps to heal me. But in this case I prefer exactly these stats. Left giver is for more hit points and you will need them. And fireproof is must have per card. Like always always tenderizer for solo gameplay and inspirational for team play 
demolition expert and everything else to use 15 points of intelligence. Of course, Nerd Rage, first aid can be free star and gunsmith 4. Dodge for just in case protection, sneak, covert operative and escape artist are must have cards. No adrenaline needed. Class Freak, Serendipity and Starch Jeans are must have cards. I would stick with Bloody Mess for guaranteed one shot. Low with Beagles, Blood Eagles. You can go with Ricochet if you want. For legendary cards you need Intelligence and I would boost another special card to equip more perks. Taking one for the team is a good perk card and I mean legendary card and the rest is up to you. Other buffs are pretty much understandable. Sleep, use food buffs and mutations like Adrenal Reaction, Egg Head, Healing Factor is optional. If you use camps, you can make a room for camp fiend under endurance. Or don't forget to pop up a berry man at every 5 minutes. And of course be well fed and hydrated to use buffs at max. Here are my specials. If you have armor pieces with additional point of intelligence, use them. Ok, that is all for today. Hope this video will help you if you run a shotgun build. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.